Boop. Greetings, everyone. BJ Wilder back with you for day 34 of 100 Days Gaming. Uh, it being August 26th, 2019. 67 days ago before we begin that 25 hour marathon, which will kick off Friday, November 1st, 2019, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time yes we were playing 100 different games streaming for at least one hour every single day and uh that's all going for 100 consecutive days leading right up to that marathon and it's all for the children's hospital of philadelphia that's right we are playing games to raise money to help sick kids get better help save their lives help make their lives better why they need the services of chop you can donate safely securely and anonymously by clicking the big old extra life Banner down below the live stream window or check the video description. We have our Extra Life participant link in there. 100% every single penny that we raise goes directly to the hospital, goes directly to helping the kids. Got $175 in of our initial step goal of $250. Ultimate goal this year is $1,000. The big old 1K. And to help encourage you, to give you a little bit of incentive... To make that donation, we're giving away some uh, cool RMG Gaming and Real Millennium Group bling. Go to our Extra Life participant page. Again, link in the description or down below the live stream window. And you can see what you can earn from making donations in 2019. Either one, one donation for the year, whatever total amount that is. Or if you make several donations throughout the year, wherever the total aggregate uh, amount of uh, everything that you donated uh, in 2019 will determine what you can earn as a reward besides being a real life hero for kids of course again 100 percent goes directly to the hospital you can donate safely securely and anonymously day 34 we are over a third of the way through the challenge august almost over september and october rolling around we do have our we do sort of have our finalized version of uh the uh games list for 100 days of gaming uh, ready now. It's in our Discord. I haven't tweeted it out yet. I've been kind of bad with tweeting the last last week or so. It's just you know try, too much going on and just getting here streaming this and that. Just a lot going on. I haven't really uh, I haven't really been keeping up with the tweeting, but I'm going to get that out tweeted out as well. You can see it's uh, yeah everything's finalized except for um, little bits in October. Uh, for about uh, 10 days in October because I what I want to do is actually play all the um, uh, Tomb Raider games that are in the series, the original series and the two reboot series uh, of games. But I can only do that if I uh, am able to pick up those games uh, if they happen to go on sale and wait for them to hopefully go on sale again uh, before well that those dates in October roll around. Otherwise, I'm going to have to throw something else in there. And we'll just have to save Tomb Raider for uh, 100 Days of Gaming next year. But hopefully they'll go on sale again. I keep kicking myself that I didn't pick them up when they are on sale uh, the beginning of August or, or uh, late July, whenever that was. It's like, dang it, I, sh I should have picked them up when I had that chance. That week they were on sale for uh, pretty cheap. Of course, the, the original games always go on sale for a buck. But even the, the most recent one that came out in September was on sale for uh, like half off or something like that. I said, I should have got it. I should have got it. Ah, well, what you going to do? I didn't, and now I'm stuck trying to uh, hope and pray I can uh, squeeze, get the, get them, and then get uh, get that whole series in for uh, this year's 100 Days of Gaming. If not, I still got plenty of other games I can throw in there. But uh, let's, uh, let's crank it here today with Farming Simulator 17. Tutorials, of course. So let's get cracking here. Aerial farming, learn the basics of the game and how to effectively work your farmland. Let's go. Let's crank it. You know what I need to do? I need to check the options here. It's just a little loud. Oh my god, I'm getting so started so late tonight. Oh, and I went to bed really late last night and I had to be up early this morning. Oh, I am just dying here today. Dying, but we're going to stick with it, man. We're going to stick with it for the kids of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. All right, let's... Um, uh, back. Uh, escape quick game. Yeah, um, yeah. A little loud. Not too loud, but uh, here we go. Oh. 
What did, yeah, what did it do? Oh, it restarted. That's interesting. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Okay. That's a little better. That's a little better. Okay, save. Boom. Oh, did it again. Okay. Uh, oh, you know, I, because of the, uh, the video, the video resolution's on here too. That's why. Let's go back. All right, let's go back to tutorials. Here we go. Arable farming. Let's start. <laughs> now we can start, right? There we go. Some farming simulator going on. We did farming simulator 15 uh, for 100 days of gaming last year. Now we're doing 17. And perhaps next year we might even be able to do farming sim 19, huh? Mm -hmm. Start. Okay, tutorial. Walk through the first tutorial where you will learn how to prepare your field and grow crops for a rich harvest. If you forget uh, what to do next or uh, want to exit, you can open the tutorial menu at any time. I escape to open or close the tutor tutorial menu. Okay. Just look around the area and move up to the tractor parked in front of the cultivator at the edge of your field. Wasid. Uh, up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Of course, we could do that with the mouse movement, too. Obviously. We, we're kiting. Big machine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, kind of. But compared to a really good driver, so rather small. Holy track, don't worry. Driving this one is easier than you might think. Hop in, eat. Here's the gas pedal uh, next to the brake. Uh, and you've seen it, haven't you? Yes, it's easy. Accelerate and decelerate. Steer vehicle with A and D. What, no mouse? Okay, mouse controls the camera. Wheel steering here. Uh, controls. Change cruise control speed. Activate cruise control. Exit vehicle. How do we change the camera? Uh, slowly back up to the cultivator behind you. Attach it to your tracker. An icon underneath the tracker symbol. It frames to appear when you're close enough to attach it. Uh, once the cultivator is lifted in driving position, move forward to a small block. Weight and attach it to the front of your tractor. The extra weight will balance out the heavy weight at the back. Ah, okay. What does she need? All right. Well, <laughs> yeah. 9.45 at night and I still can't get your break. I still can't get an hour. We'll be right back.
Uh, <laughs> can't, can't even get an hour. Can't even get an hour of peace. All right, let's, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. Q. All right, ads attached. All right, good. Drive forward here. Q. That is attached. All righty. Detach uh, V lower weight, change tool selection. Okay. Great job so far. Uh, now you can prepare uh, the field before sewing. Since you have two tools attached, you can switch between them in order to manipulate each. The schematic view of the tractor in the bottom right displays a currently active tool. Okay. Select the cultivator in the back and lower it into the soil and then drive up and down the field as straight as you can. So G, uh, folder on X and V, G, X and V, okay. G, X, V, there we go. With cultivator, unfold cultivator. Change tool, cruise, activate cruise, exit vehicle, toggle beacon lights. Oh, really? Home? It's home. Oh, yeah, we got our beacon. Hey, look at that. Okay, uh, so how do I change the, uh, oh. How do I change the camera view here? Oh. There we go, look at that. Okay. I know that you can turn on the radio, you listen to some music while you work, enjoy driving from a different perspective. Radio is S. Next radio channel, six, four, a uh, five. No, okay. How about that? There you go. Uh, C. Okay, C is camera. Here we go. All right, there we go. Nicely done. You've got the hang of cultivation. Ready to plant some seeds? Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, cultivating loosens the soil, making it well prepared for sowing. So get on the tractor and attach as you did before. Okay. E. Q. We'll switch the tool for G. Uh, then V and B. Turn. All right. V. So G. V. Okay. And B.
There we go. Good job. The seeds are planted. I don't think that was very straight. No, yeah, it doesn't look like that was a very straight job there. <laughs> Seeds are playing out. It takes time for them to grow into a field of canola ready to harvest. Okay. There you go. Harvest time. You will love this job. Okay, if you say so. So very nice. This is a big machine. Your very own combine harvester. Let's see. I got to readjust everything because I had to get up. Enter it and attach the header in front of it the same as you did the other equipment. All right. Ah, okay. Q. There we go. Q. Excellent. Okay, switch tool selection. Keep it low uh, to harvest. Okay. Unfold, then you can turn it on. So I got unfold it X. Okay, G, G, X. B, X. I guess this go. We don't appear to be harvesting. B. V. Z. X. X doesn't appear to be doing anything. B. X. G. Or maybe we're doing it now. Pipe out uh, X unfold harvest. Oh, they, oh, okay. Got ya. Turn on harvester. Okay, here we go. Now let's see. Yeah, there we go. By harvesting, the combine has uh, filled its grain tank. Open the pipe, drive next to the trailer at the edge of the field, and unload the grain tank into it. Okay, oh. Oopsie. There we go. Okay. 
Honk. I'm not done emptying it yet. There we go. All right. Uh, oh. Exit the combine, get on the tractor in front of the trailer. Okay. Just gonna leave it over like that. All right, whatever. E. The flashing icon. Oh, I see it. Barely in flashing. Where you can unload the trailer, drive over there, and store the grain in your silos. In your own time, of course. Okay. Start or stop discharge. Looks like that's I, I guess, right? Over here. Oh, there it is. I see it. I. <coughs> Excellent. Grain will keep on your silos. There's limited capacity so you can store in them, but you'll be able to expand them later in the game. If you're ready to sell your harvest, you can take the grain out of your silos and deliver them to one of the various selling stations in the world to make some money. Okay. Oh, there we go. Excellent. After you've harvested the field, you'll need to prepare it for the next cycle. You can do that quickly by using a cultivator just as before. Prepare it for the next cycle. Okay, you can do that. Uh, but from time to time, you should plow your field to make sure that it stays as fertile as possible. All right. Uh, tractor, plow, wait, let's go. All right. Uh oh. V. Actually, I can turn the plow if I go this way, can't I? Turn plow is B. Guess that didn't help too much, huh? B. Excellent. Okay. Well, there we go. Learn how to fertilize your fields to get the maximum yields. Okay. Cut a tree with chainsaw and sell the logs. Oh, really? Yeah. Cow's milk. Purchase pigs. To make and transport bales. All right, let's fertilize. Fertilize.
tractor, attach the weight uh, and the manure and the shit spreader. Remember, just like in the first tutorial, okay? The shit spreader. Spread some shit. Well done. Add nutrients to the soil, make it more fertile. This is where the plant's growing. You'll be able to add another layer of fertilizer. Three times. Wow, three times during the growth cycle, huh? Okay. Well, that seemed easy enough. Slurry. Yep, it smells, but again, it's free of, uh, free of charge from your animals, so let's use it. All right. Slurry, huh? F. Oh, flashlight. Okay. E. Turn slurry on with B. Ew. Ew. More nutrients, more crops. How about you fertilizing the less smell? Yeah, that that might. Yeah, that might be very nice. Okay. The weeder is also an easy and economical way to improve the yield of your fields. Needs no refill. Well, like your two previous ways, but the downside is it can only be used at one specific stage of growth cycle. Only once the new plants have sprouted, but before they have grown too tall. Enter the tractor again. Excellent. It's quite well suited to, to meadows since grass continually grows. Beer can be used as often as grass is less delicate than crops. Excellent. A manufacturer uh, solid liquid is relatively expensive but more concentrated, requiring less application. Also, the machines for this type of fertilizer can manage quite wide areas in one go. Now, let's get the sprayer.
Woo. Yeah, well, it's quite quick. It's maybe the most interesting way to fertilize is through the use of a catch crop. Uh, fast growing oilseed radish. Takes some extra time investment. It's also on the cheaper side. Okay. So, so instead of. After a harvest, you can sow oilseed radish instead of a crop uh, you intend to harvest. As radishes have started growing, all you need to do is break and burrow them into the ground, destroying them, but leaving a lot of organic matter nutrients in the soil. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Wow, that keeps going, huh? There you go, another way to fertilize the soil quite biologically. Pick what you like to do and can afford, but remember to fertilize three times during the growth cycle before the harvest gets before the harvest to get to back to the yield. You should you try some of the more advanced specific tutorials or head into the career mode and start farming your own land. Oh, okay. Let, let's learn how to make and transport bales. Why not? Oh, look at that then. And how to make bales which are great for storing straw and hay for your animals. You also learn an efficient way of collecting transporting bales with an auto stacker. It's more expensive and easier uh, than a front loader and trailer for the same purpose. Okay. Big baler, 1290. Can we get up here? Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. I know. Lower the pickup. Unfold the baler. There we go. Oh, I guess I got to turn it on, huh? goes
missed a little bit there, did we? Excellent. Sweet. Sold. Oh, we can sell bales, huh? After you've created the bales, you need a way to pick up and transport them. And this, use the auto stacker, which simplifies this work tremendously. Okay. Look, Ma, on top of the tractor. E. Oh, for God's sakes. Wow, how about that, huh? you look at that it does make it easy doesn't it drive to the marketplace so you might have to sell the bales there finally unload the bales okay
Excellente. Oh, hit a tree. There we go. Some bales is easy money to start when you have no use for straw. You want to keep the bales for them. Bales can be stored in stacks quite compactly anywhere. Close to your animals would be ideal for easy access when you need them. Okay. Oh, well, that was cool. How about some piggies? We need some piggies. We're going to get some piggies. Piggy, 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 piggy. Tell I'm like ex drunkenly exhausted here. We're going to do it. We got 15 more minutes. We got a few more tutorials. We can do it. We can survive. Okay, wait, wait. We got. We got to start getting. Got to. Start, we got to start prepping for that 25-hour marathon. Got to get our endurance build up here. Gotta be able to do it, man. We've got to be able to do it. Okay. Alright, welcome to the fourth. Uh, how to take care of your pigs, but also how to transport them. Okay. Enter the tractor and attach everything. Okay. Pigs in here? Yeah, no pigs. Drive the livestock market by pigs location. Livestock markets and keep a flash on your map once you arrive. Park the trailer. We mark the yellow and black stripes. Okay. All right there. As many pigs fit in your trailer. Okay. R. Pig. Buy nine pigs. Nine pigs. Confirm. Yes. Oh my goodness, there's the pigs. We're in the pig butt. We're staring down the pig butt. There they are. Uh, drive your drive back to your pig pen. Okay, that way. We don't mind if we run down your corn. <laughs> Rough ride for them piggies, eh? <laughs> oh dear. Oh my goodness. Tutorial, we failed. We failed the tutorial. We drowned. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got some air time with the piggies, though. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go for realsies this time. When pigs fly, well, pigs flew, all right. Okay. 
Alrighty. Pardon me. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, dude, really? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Where is this thing? Oh, out there, okay. Oh, there it is. Damn trees in the way. Yeah, we're stuck. Oh, we're stuck. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Forward. Q. 
Jesus, I can't drive keyboard. There we go, good enough. Uh, R. Unload. Unload nine piggies. There we go. Yes. Oh, there they are. All right, good. Excellent. Let's feed them. What's anything, but we should uh, take care to give them a balanced diet. There are four categories of crops we can feed them with. Maize is the most common and basic. They should also have some protein from either soybean or canola. To round off their fodder, give them some grain, wheat or barley, and root crops. Potatoes sh and sugar beet. Really? Okay. Good to know. Uh, okay, let's enter the bee. Click hole. Let's tell a handler and attach the shovel. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Oops. Well, how do I raise and lower it? Crab string. Crab string right. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, so we gotta use our mouse. All right. There we go. There we go. How do I dump it? Oh, here we go.
There we go. Oh, hold on. I think I know. Ah, uh, there we go. Side to side. I get this driving eventually. Uh -uh. There we go. There we go. Oh, we lost some. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. Got it all in one shot that time. Oh, he didn't pick it up. Hold on. There we go. Excellent. There we go. 
So now they have food, but you also need to give them water because without water, all animals should stop entirely, no matter how much food they have. Okay. Uh, drive to water tower where you can fill your trailer. The location is again marked map park your trailer near the water tower. Yeah, I guess see if I can change the mouse steering here. Excellent. Two more factors that should be taken into account. Really, two more factors. Straw for bedding. Uh, keep fresh, keep them happy. Turn to manure over time. Okay. Drop it into the blower, okay. Uh, oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. Okay.
Dang it. Can't figure out how to go back here. That tell me where I should go. Oh, oh, I gotta go that way. All right, hold on. I. I. All right, good. There we go. Lastly, cleanliness is always good since your animals will spread their food around me. I'll go and it should be cleaned up from time to time. Okay. Oh my god, really? Okay, good. Excellent. How well, we got that done? How many tutorials? Oh, we got two tutorials left, but it'll have to be it for us because it's late. We got to be up early. <laughs> now that we can work to go. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. We'll do some more farming later. In fact, I think I'm going to be doing it next week as well. Next weekend on channel RMG Gaming 2, we'll uh, finish off our uh, tutorials and uh, maybe start a little bit of farming. Excellent. In the meantime, thanks for watching, everyone. Again, this is all to raise money for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We've got 67 days to go before we begin that 25-hour marathon. $175 in. Ultimate goal is $1,000. And you can earn some cool stuff for making donations this year. So be sure to check out the links in the video description and check down below the live stream window as well for all that great information, as well as all sorts of great information and everything else from RMG Gaming and Real Millennium Group, and of course, me, BJ Weiler, as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I am BJ Weiler. Till tomorrow, day 35, I will see you in game.